So, I want to talk a little bit about something called radical optimism. So, I've been having, like, not a tough time, but just pretty neutral time. And I kind of found myself going towards the negative and just kind of, like, getting into a bit of a hole. Like, how am I going to get out of this? Whatever. And I was scrolling on Instagram. And the first post that comes up is a post from Dua Lipa where she mentions two words, radical optimism. And I took that as my sign to completely change my mindset to one of radical optimism. So what does that look like? That looks like being silly optimistic about the future. Yes, it's actually an option. You can do that. And it doesn't make you stupid. It actually makes you smart because all we have is the present moment. And I can either be worrying about the future or I can be optimistic about it because it's uncertain anyways. It's an unknown anyways, right? And not only that, but being optimistic about the future is actually creating your reality and you're actually going to align to a higher timeline by doing that. So it's a win-win. But the main thing for me is it just makes my experience here in the now so much better. So how have I changed my mindset to one of radical optimism? I speak affirmations that are optimistic. Joy is inevitable. Joy is coming to me now. All my dreams are coming true. My success is assured. All things lead to my success. I might be. This is a really, really, really helpful tip. If there is something that you want or you want to achieve or you have a big dream and you're just like you want to shift your mindset to a slightly more optimistic mindset about it, use the word might. I might have all my dreams come true next year. I might be enlightened by my 27th birthday. I might be. It's it's nice because your brain can compute that that might be true. Because there is infinite possibilities and that could be one of the possibilities. So you can say like really out there shit. I might be enlightened by 27. I might be. Yeah, true. Maybe. And that's fine. No one's calling you cuckoo because you're not saying I will be. You're saying I might be. And it just opens up a nice bit of optimism into your life. Another thing which I was just doing in the shower is singing. Can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine? And then filling in the song with like, can you imagine if this comes true? Can you imagine if all my dreams are coming true? Can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine? Love, joy, compassion, even just a fraction. Can you imagine? Oh, can you imagine? A sailboat in a Malfi, a lover in Napoli. Just like singing. Firstly, it's great for your inner child. Um, but this, if you're having like a down day, try doing this. Try do this to shift up your energy system. So I think that's really, really, really helpful. Just try, spend like 10 minutes just singing and having fun with it, making up your own silly song. It doesn't matter if you're not a good singer. You imagine love, joy, compassion, even just a fraction. Maybe that would be a good house song if I like make it into a club remix. Can you imagine? Anyways, another way to be more optimistic is just really, really, really simple is to ignore your thoughts and not run away with your thoughts, your negative thoughts. Don't reply to your negative thoughts. Just literally watch them pass you by like sailboats. That's what I like to imagine. Focus on your breath and see your thoughts just pass you by like sailboats. And whether it's like, this is not going to be a good day or just like negative things, just let them pass and don't even engage and just focus on your breath, return to your breath. You can speak some nice affirmations if you want, or you just leave it in the silence. That is powerful. That is transmutational. And also just pure consciousness is going to raise your vibration and then it's easier to be optimistic when you are feeling joy or bliss, obviously. But it's also okay if you're conscious of your breath and you're not and you're not feeling those emotions, which is kind of why I was having this mini breakdown because I'm conscious of my breath and I'm not feeling joy and bliss. But I'm hopeful that they will come soon.
anyways I hope this helped you I hope that you can take something from this and just the the power of changing your mindset it doesn't have to be big things it can just be really small things and adding that kind of hint of optimism into your day-to-day -day, that might hmm, maybe maybe it will come true maybe it will happen it's possible it's one of infinite realities and it could happen so I love you. I'm sending you lots of love. Bye.